Once upon a time, there lived an elderly couple who wanted a child. One day, the old woman told her husband, Go into the forest and chop down a log for me. I'll put it into a cradle and rock it to sleep. It might cheer me up. So the old man brought a log back for his wife. The old woman started singing a lullaby to the log, as if it were a child. She sang to the log well into the night, and then the old couple went to bed. And a miracle happened. The next morning, the old couple discovered a baby boy in the cradle, and they named him Ivarsik Talesi. Once Ivarsik had grown a little bigger, he asked his father to make him a little golden boat with a silver oar. He started to go out fishing and to bring back fish for the old couple. The old woman told Ivarsik, When you hear me calling, come back to the shore. But if you hear a stranger, then keep away. woman called out, Ivarsik to Lairsik, my dear, row your golden boat back here. I've prepared you a tasty meal. It's my mother. She's bought me some breakfast, said Ivarsik. Ivarsik steered his boat back to the shore, ate his fill, then went out fishing again. But nearby there lurked a serpent, who heard Ivarsik's mother calling to him. The serpent decided to try and trick Ivarsik. She called to him in her deep voice, Ivarsik Talesik, my dear, row your golden boat back here. I've prepared you a tasty meal. That's not my mother's voice, Ivarsik said to himself, and he rowed away. And the serpent went to the blacksmith. Forge me a high little voice, a voice that sounds like Telesic's mother. And the blacksmith agreed. The serpent returned to the riverbank and called out again in her new voice. Ivarsik, Telesic, my dear, row your golden boat back here. I've prepared you a tasty meal. It's my mother. She's bought me some lunch, said Ivarsik and he rode to shore. The serpent seized Ivarsik and brought him back to her house. Olenka, my little serpent daughter, get the oven red hot and roast this boy well. I'll invite the guests. We'll have a feast. And Olenka heated the oven. Ivarsik Talesik, sit on the shovel, ordered Elenka. Like this, he asked. Ivarsik put his hand on the shovel. No, not just your hand. Ivarsik put his head on the shovel. Like this? No, no, not like that, answered Elenka. I don't understand. Show me how to do it. As soon as Alenka sat on the shovel, Ivarsik seized the handle, pushed her into the oven, and shut the door. He ran out of the house and hid himself in the branches of a tall tree. Then the serpent arrived with her guests. Olenka, we're back. Open the door. No answer. The serpent huffed angrily and pushed the door open. The serpents went inside, took the roast out of the oven and ate greedily. After enjoying their meal, the serpents went outside and rolled in the grass in delight. What a tasty meal we've had. Telesic's meat was not too bad. And Ivarsik called down from the tree. Roll in the grass, my friends, be glad. Alenka's meat was not too bad. 
and the serpent spotted Avarsic hiding in the tree. They rushed to it and started to gnaw at the trunk. The tree began to sway. Avarsic saw a flock of geese flying overhead. He called out, My geese, my geese, my goosey geese, take me on your wings, oh please, and carry me back to my mother and father. They'll warm you and feed you and make you feel welcome. But the geese flew on without taking any notice of Ivarsik. A second flock of geese came along. And Ivarsic called out, My geese, my geese, my goosey geese, take me on your wings, oh please, and carry me back to my mother and father. They'll warm you and feed you and make you feel welcome. But the geese didn't take Ivarsic. The tree was about to topple over. And then a very little goose came along who was lagging behind and couldn't catch up with the others. Ivarsic called out, Oh goose, oh goose, oh little goose, take me on your wings, oh do, and carry me back to my mother and father. They'll warm you and feed you and make you feel welcome. And the little goose picked Ivarsic up from the tree and carried him all the way home. The old woman spotted the goose outside in the yard. Look! There's a goose. I'll catch it and cook it for us to eat. No, mother, don't, cried Avarsic. He rescued me. You mustn't cook him. You must thank him. And so they fed the little goose and put millet under his wings to last him on his journey. And the little goose flew away. <laughs>